funny at the time in those days, did you have a sense that it would be important to sort of document this for posterity's sake or were you just living in the moment? Living in the moment and pretty much a wild, out of control drunk. Yes, I was actually a twink at one point. <laughs> now I'm twink, twank, twunk. Um, but uh, we didn't document the first couple of years because we had no idea that Wigstock would be successful. It was um, pretty much financed by the club across the street, the Pyramid Club as a way to showcase acts from the Pyramid. And the first year was very small at the beginning, but it was also long. So by the end of the day, we knew we'd hit on something that was, you know, going to last and it grew every year so you know we, we I did realize you know that my humble efforts that first year you know had hit upon something that worked by the end of that day you know I have never been to Wigstock and for maybe those who aren't as familiar what is it about this festival that makes it so special in your eyes well, one thing is that it has a Mardi Gras feeling, which we need one of those up north, um, where the audience is encouraged to come in wigs. And that's one thing that kind of trailed off in later years with the festivities as the, the first movie came out. So I would love to suggest that, you know, assuming that we get the festival back off its ground, it's so much more fun to put on a wig. I mean, I've seen photos over the years of bodybuilders in wigs, women in wigs, dogs in wigs. I mean, it's just, there's just something crazy. You don't need the whole outfit. You don't need a costume, but just putting a wig on, as silly as that sounds, can actually change the way that you act. Wig therapy. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, wig, wig therapy, exactly. What about you, My Chris? neck needs therapy from this wig. <laughs> <laughs> you know, watching the, the movie in 95, what about, how did that reach you at that time? I mean, you know, at that point, I was a teenager. I was, like, in the punk scene. And so it was a... My understanding of New York City for the first time was the East Village was, like, the the, the queens were being more punk than the punks. I mean, the idea of, like, uh, putting on a wig and heels was more uh, subversive than, you know, spike collar and a leather jacket. And that I really understood that, especially in going through this footage, is, like, how radical it was, actually, at the time. Mm -hmm. 